Hey Libra, how are you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. Hope you guys are all doing well. Um, we're going to take a look. We're going to see what's going on with you guys in love, romance, partnership. If this is your reading Libra, do let me know. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you are aware of when I drop these readings. You don't want to miss out. All right, let's take a look, my Libras. Your bonus extended reading is up on Vimeo if you care to check that out. And I am available um, if you're interested in a personal love tarot reading. I do ask that you go ahead and book those readings um, like early this week because I'm going to shut it down for the Christmas holiday. I'll be with family, so I'm not going to be able to do readings um, after this week, okay? So all the information is in the description box if you are interested. All right, so let's jump right in. Messages for my Libras. What does Libra need to know? Let's start off with the biggest challenge that Libra could be faced with right now in love, partnerships, romance. We have the three of pentacles in reverse, okay? So I definitely get the sense that you and this person are not on the same page. I feel like there's the energy of just not understanding each other. We have a lack of recognition. So just not seeing where each other comes from, not understanding like the way you guys think, the way you perceive things. It could be a big, big miscompatibility or uh, I'm seeing a, a big misunderstanding that is leading to some kind of incompatibility between the both of you. Um, just... It's just telling me that there's some kind of division here, okay? So that is the biggest challenge. You and this person are just not getting along, not seeing eye to eye. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. In the past, we definitely have the death card. So there was an ending. There was some kind of unexpected event. May have brought an ending to this connection. But it's telling me that there was a need for some kind of change or transformation. So maybe someone was unwilling to change, unwilling to see a situation differently. And we have the High Priestess energy and the Five of Wands in the verse. So yeah, I definitely get the sense the Five of Wands talks about competition, fighting, always trying to have the one up. And it feels to me like you knew that something just it wasn't going to work out, Libra. The High Priestess is a card of intuition. So you may have felt like they may have gotten to a point where it's like, okay, I can't keep fighting for this. I can't keep butting heads with this person. This is not the way I want and I see my relationship to go. So there was definitely a big change that happened. I do feel like this ending has sparked some kind of transformation that may um may need it to change may need it to happen. And someone again was reluctant to doing it. Okay, not open to change, not open to seeing things differently, but I do feel like that ending was necessary. Give me the current energy. This could be definitely a Pisces you're dealing with or Scorpio. The current energy is the uh, Ten of Swords. So again, a card of endings, Four of Cups, and the Five of Cups. Wow, a lot of emotions, a lot of feelings, sadness. Someone is not happy about the current situation. They're all in their feelings right now. A lot of disappointment, hurt, and unhappiness. Definitely could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone is more bothered by this ending than you may ever even think or imagine, Libra. Because this Ten of Swords feels like it's really hitting hard for someone. And perhaps they're not communicating this to you. They're working on how to recover from this, how to move past this. But it's not easy. The Cups are indicating that this is someone who is really, really emotionally affected and disappointed, okay? So there could be definitely that energy here. Let's see what's going on behind the scenes. We have the Ace of Wands, Growth, Movement, Change, Justice card, Libra Energy, Ace of Pentacles, wow, and the Eight of Swords in the verse. Wow. Ace of Wands, Justice, and Ace of Pentacles is definitely suggesting someone is trying to make things right. They're trying to bring balance, harmony, trying to come to you and do things the right way. I definitely get a sense with the Ace of Pentacles, there's a new opportunity coming in, something that's very promising, something that is very strong. Ace of Pentacles is suggesting that there could be a situation here where if you guys address it, if you guys work this out it can move forward ace of wands is action someone still very much desires this and there's the energy of i want to now do the right thing the justice card i want to bring this back into balance i want to right my wrongs i'm acknowledging that you know what what i was doing was was not right the way i saw life the way i saw partnership was distorted was incorrect okay there's something here that's coming in and it's going to be 
coming in fairly quickly with the Ace of Wands, but not only coming in quick, it's going to be very solid. The only thing that's holding your person back is their own overthinking, their own self undoing. Okay, this is the energy of feeling restricted, feeling tied, bound, but they're breaking away from this. Eight of Swords and Verses breaking away from any self-imposed restrictions, ideas, limitations that is keeping them at a standstill. So the good thing is that these Aces, they're coming towards you. As far as the outcome, we have this beautiful Lover's card. So this is suggesting that there could be a decision. There's a choice here, right? There's a choice to come together. You guys can come together there's an opportunity for two lovers to come together and join forces we do have love ace of cups a beautiful love offer coming in this is one of the most beautiful readings i've done in a quite a while and then we have the hangman pisces energy so there is a little bit of a limbo there is a little bit of a suspension energy where things you know you may have to think about things your person may have to look at things from a different perspective. But when you guys do that, you're going to you're going to realize something. And again, again, there was there's something here about a misunderstanding here. I really feel that strongly because at the end of the day there's real true love here. This ace of cups is saying that you guys have an opportunity to renew your vows, to come together and it's going to be stronger than you ever ever have been, okay? So I feel like this is a choice, a decision that you both will make and it's going to be coming after a period of suspension, okay? Thinking where you guys have an opportunity to see a situation from a whole different pair of lens. So, let's jump right in and get some clarity on this energy Libra. If this is your reading, go ahead, like, share, comment, subscribe. You can book a reading with me and your extended bonus reading is up on video. So give me the Three of Pentacles. What's going on with the Three of Pentacles? That is the biggest challenge. Not seeing eye to eye, not in agreement with each other. Oh, King of Cups, but there's still love. So I think that someone's, someone here, big love for you, right? Deep emotions, deep feelings. But I also feel the King of Cups may be jealous at times, right? They may act a little bit more emotional than they should. And Libra, if you're dealing with a water sign, that may be it. Maybe you guys just have very different love languages. Maybe you have very different styles or ways of showing love, right? And so the King of Cups, definitely, they have love for you, but I do feel like there could be some differences and differences in the way you guys go about it, okay? And so the Three Pentacles could be those differences being highlighted and causing some kind of division between you and them. Doesn't mean they love you any less. Doesn't mean you love them any less. Just some things you guys are going to have to work through in this relationship. In the past, definitely an ending that may have brought forth some kind of much-needed transformation. The Justice card, the Judgment in Reverse, and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I, I do think that there's a reason why this ending, because it feels like if this ending didn't happen, perhaps someone wouldn't feel the need to bring some kind of justice, equality, doing the right thing, fairness, right? Adjustments. Adjustments are required. So I do feel like while a decision was made, you know, it may have felt like, is this the right decision? You may have questioned yourself because a judgment in reverse can mean that, you know, you, you've been going back and forth in this decision. Was this the right decision? You're confused. You're contemplating it. And so, yeah, I do think it was necessary. I also feel with the five of wands in reverse, I think that you tried your hardest to, to really get along and see things from this person's perspective. But perhaps something did have to end and this ending could be a really good thing for the both of you. Despite you may not feel that way, but the high priestess is telling me that some of you guys made the decision based off of your intuition. Give me the energy of this ending. We have the Ten of Swords. Queen of Cups and the Hierophant. Um, I do feel there could be, first off, this is your divine counterpart. We have the King of Cups, we have the Queen of Cups here. Both very loving, very uh, loving, loving energies. But in the reverse, someone here may have been hurt. Someone may have been have, uh, hurt by someone's inability to love. There could have been some emotional wounds here. Maybe someone was hurt by someone's words, even with the sword. We do have the Hierophant here. So I do feel... Perhaps there is an energy of someone committing but just not showing up in love for the other person, not supporting the other person on the emotional level. I also feel like there could be a situation where your love languages were just very different, okay? Um, and that is something that you guys are overcoming. Give me the five and four cups here. Could definitely be a Taurus you're dealing with. The world in a verse, the page of cups, and the ace of swords in a verse. So you guys are not saying this, but there's definitely some kind of idea, thinking, okay, swords is thinking, about having a new beginning. But not only that, coming in with an apology. Someone definitely feels like an apology is needed. I do feel like Libra, this person is, is wanting to work their way back in to apologize to you. But the fact that they're 
is no communication that can be rather difficult the world is in reverse um this is definitely highlighting the need for change and being open to transformation right the world is karma faded events destiny and i do feel like right now there's something that is going to come back up and resurface the world in reverse is indicating that i don't think this is done i feel like there's a lot of unfinished business here and i do think that you guys will be moving away from this period of deep deep um reflection and sadness the five of cups four of cups there's a lot of sadness a lot of grief a lot of sorrow right now um and this could be happening during this downtime during this break where there's a lot of reflection on the situation here um but there's no communication so again i do think that it's going to take someone to reach out and make that first move to apologize um say i'm sorry i'm thinking of you now the energy is telling me that there's a lot of new beginnings coming in and perhaps it's your person initiating it we have the ace of wands why is this person with the ace of wands here this ace of wands is signifying someone is willing to grow up and get out of their comfort zone to take action Three of Swords in a verse and a Six of Pentacles in a verse, especially if they know and they're acknowledging they're wrong. Three of Swords is indicating that someone could recognize that, you know what? I hurt you, Libra. What I did, I hurt you. I cut ties with you. I abandoned you. I neglected you. And now there's the energy of recognizing Six of Pentacles in a verse. I didn't do enough. I didn't give you enough. I didn't give you all of me. And so there is the energy of wanting to grow, transform, and move forward, right? Ace of Wands is growth. Now, give me the energy of the justice card. We have the energy of acknowledging someone, someone's wrong, someone's shortcomings. Yeah, and the two of cups. That is what's going to bring you guys together. Because it's, it takes both of you guys to recognize your strengths and weaknesses. And not necessarily like saying, oh, you did this, you hurt me, and it's your fault. No, you both have to see where you could do better and then take action in doing that. And the four of swords speaks about, again, that reflection. Doing the healing, um, doing the healing work, working on yourself. Four of Swords can be, again, a break, downtime, but there's the energy of looking for peace of mind. And how to restore harmony and love back to this connection. Two of Cups is like, you guys want to do this together. You don't want to do this apart. And so there is balance being restored. The Justice card, Libra energy, um, wanting to do right, wanting to do um, more, okay? Give it a more fair, balanced manner. Now, we have the Ace of Pentacles, so there could be a new offer coming in, a new promising offer coming in after someone breaks away from some kind of self-imposed restrictions, ideas, thoughts. King of Pentacles in a verse and a Seven of Swords. Now, for some of you, there could have been another person involved. Could have been a third party. Could be a situation here where perhaps your person lied, cheated, deceived you. They may have went behind your back and did something sneaky. I do have a very strong non-committal energy. So someone here may have stepped out of a commitment. And that could have been something here that you guys are healing from. I do think that there's part of what I'm seeing is that someone wants to come in with a new beginning. But they may feel like you're holding them hostage. You're holding... You're holding something against them from their past, okay? Especially if they did something that they're not proud of with the Seven of Swords. So I do feel like there's an energy of having to release, okay? Four of Cups, Five of Cups. Yeah, there's a lot of sadness. Yeah, there's the energy of you hurt me. I wish you'd never done that. But part of what I'm seeing, part of the growth that you guys are doing and the lessons you're learning is how to forgive, how to let go, how to release things, okay? And not hold it against other people. So it's a choice, right? You you have a choice. And that's what the lovers is about. Gemini energy. You have a choice to come together. Doesn't mean that this is absolute. You're going to come together and live a happy ever after. It's going to require you both to really do some thinking, looking at it from a different perspective, and being real with yourself, right? Can I trust this person? Can I allow them to come in? Can I be happy with them? There is a decision, but there's also a love offer here. So there could be a love offer, and then you're having to make a decision about it. Okay, Libra? The lovers, yeah, it's a choice. The lovers card came out in reverse now. So again, yes or no, do I want this or do I not? You know, I love this person, but can I I really move past and look past their, um, the hurt that they've caused me? You're going to have to think about this. Five of Wands is going to be some kind of inner struggle. Five of Wands is telling me that this is not going to be easy for you. Okay, you're going to be a little bit stuck. You're going to feel conflicted. And so, yeah, I do think the hangman is telling me that, you know, there could be a period of time where this connection's in limbo. It's not really moving forward because someone has to think and really do some assessing, really trying to figure out what's the best approach and how to move forward. So going back to the challenge, we do have the three of pentacles and a verse and a king of cups. There's a lot of love here. And I think what it comes down to is like, you know, can we really love and come together? 
right? Yeah, love is great. Yeah, love is big and bold. But three of pentacles in verse, can we look past each other's differences? Can we get on the same page and create something very solid, concrete, and long term? And that's what the pentacles talk about, okay? So that is what I'm seeing, Libra. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you are aware when I drop these readings. You don't want to miss out. All right, you guys, take care.